Welcome to the Janome Studio. In this tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you how to use rulers and the ruler base on the Quiltmaker Pro to quilt a basket weave inside a clamshell. All right, so to get started, we're going to be using the Quiltmaker Pro and the ruler base, and we're going to be quilting up a really cool basket weave motif inside this clamshell. And so I've already marked some of my reference lines. I used a little bit of a longer ruler so that I can mark in a two inch grid. And then I marked some reference lines to remind me which direction the lines need to go. Uh, so today I'm gonna be using a curved ruler and a straight short ruler. And there are literally hundreds of quilting rulers on the market. So just pick the one that you like the most. And uh, for the long arm, you will need a ruler foot and you'll need to make sure that your quilting rulers are at least a quarter inch thick. So you don't wanna use rulers that are like an eighth of an inch thick that are similar to uh, what you would use for rotary cutting. These need to be long arm quilting rulers. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna start by quilting the outline of this clamshell and I'm gonna use this curved ruler as a guide for that because it's sometimes difficult to freehand curves really precisely when they're this big. Small curves are easy, but larger curves, uh, you need a little more pre precision sometimes. Once I do that, I'm gonna quilt my two inch grid, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fill these lines to mimic a basket weave pattern. So it'll be really cool. And I'm gonna start by lowering my needle and then raising it, and I'm bringing my bobbin thread to the top. I'm gonna take a few stitches in place to secure my threads. And for the machine settings, I have the machine set at regulated mode so that my stitches are all the same length, and I've got my stitch length set at 13. So what that means is uh, my stitches will be 13 stitches within each inch. So they'll all be the same length. And in regulated mode, the machine is going to go at the same speed regardless of how fast or slow I move it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now I've quilted the outline of my clamshell. I'm about to go in and I'm gonna fill in with the straight line quilting. And so whenever I'm doing this, I'm putting the ruler right up against the ruler foot, kind of as a guide. I'm not pushing it. I'm not pushing the ruler foot with the ruler, but I'm holding the ruler steady against the ruler base while I'm moving the machine. And so we finished our basket weave fill. This is a really good clean motif to do and it really gives it a nice modern finish. So I hope next time that you have a large area of space that you wanna fill, you'll try this basket weave. 